Today's mission is to eat all the new food for only $100. Okay, that's gonna be a challenge. Now don't worry, we're gonna go ahead and tell you how to go ahead and get more food for less money. Just let us check in here first. It's official, Christmas is officially here. Oh my gosh, check out all the Christmas decorations. They're wonderful. First stop, Grandma's Recipe, let's Yay. go. All right guys, starting off strong with the barbacoa de res over at Grandma's Recipe. Well, just looking at it, it looks very delicious, but let's see if it tastes equally as good. Wow, this is a thick tamal. What's going on here? Yeah, that's thick, <laughs> but we'll see. Now, keep in mind, guys, I am going to be judging this based on theme parks, not like homemade tamales, because I think that's a little bit different. But here we go. Mm -hmm. No way. Is it really that good? It is. Mine, and no share. What? I like it. I wish it was a little bit warmer, though. I don't know if it's just the one I got that's not uh, warmed up all the way, but I do like the flavors. It's Dude, really it's like good. 58 degrees out here, yeah. so it's not for you. Yeah, <laughs> but other than that, the flavors are really good. I like the green tomatillo sauce that they have, and they do have a lot of tomatillo sauce on here. The crema is good. The meat is delicious as well, the barbacoa. It has a nice kick to it. Overall, I do like it, and I am going to be enjoying this all season long. I got two options here. The Yule Log, which is super cute. I didn't think it was gonna be this pretty, but the Conchita with the cold brew. Yo, I'm a big cafecito person. I need my coffee morning, day, and night. And this is the perfect little like Conchita. Oh my gosh. Oh, coffee first or bike first? Ah, provecho, para arriba, para abajo, para el centro, para dentro. Oh yeah, we're gonna eat napkins. That is so good. Mm. For those that aren't familiar with the concha, it's Mexican sweet bread. And it's like this crushed sugar that gets baked on top. It's so sweet, so good. Technically, the way you're supposed to have a concha is that you dip it into like a cup of black coffee and let the sugar sweeten your coffee. Oh my gosh, this is so good. I mean, that's not technically, that's preference right there. <laughs> that's science, okay. A straw to get to the cold brew. Now this is, oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is Café de Olla. If you're not familiar with what Café de Olla is, Café de Olla is a slow brew type of coffee with cinnamon, nutmeg, and other spices. It is very delicious. It's a very, much more on the sweeter side of coffee. And ideally you have this like warm and hot on like a cold night like tonight but I'm a big cold brew person, and this, this is the go-to now. I'm sorry, Joffrey's Coffee. I'm sorry, Starbucks. For <laughs> this is the, and the fact that I get a concha for the standard price. Dude, this is a snack and coffee. I'm all in, all in. This is a must, must. Mm. Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh my God, this is almost too cute to like, to eat. I got worried. I thought it was gonna be a big piece. This is definitely shareable. And if you didn't have a gluten allergy, we'd be like munching on this together. Here we go. Oh yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Chocolatey. And I love the fact that there's chocolate chips in it. So there's crunch and texture to it, but it still melts in your mouth for that chocolatey goodness. Mm. Oh, that's rich. That's money bags rich. That is so good. I'm in trouble. That might be my favorite cart. And we all and we just started. And we just started. And it's not overly sweet though. Mm -hmm. Then again, I am a chocolatier. As a chocolatier, this hits. This hits. No cap. Straight good, but I don't know if I'm buzzing off the coffee or the chocolate. Damage has been done. Damage has been done. I need a drinky drink, I think. Mike! <laughs> <laughs> Merry mashup time! Or as you said... A drinky drink time! <laughs> a mi no me gusta, a mi me encanta! Okay guys, so after the tamale that I just had, which was delicious, I needed something to wash it down, especially since I saw it was a blue drink. 
This is the Glacier Margarita. Wait a minute, where'd that come from? That wasn't in the budget. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> Cheers. Wow, that tastes blue. I like it though. I would definitely see myself ordering this one more time or a couple of times throughout the season. Or through the night. I don't know if they have a couple of times through the night though. I like <laughs> to switch it up. But other than that, it's good. Cheers. The M&M's peanut butter fudge cake. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a happy camper. I just realized I'm only eating sugar so far and no real food. So I should probably get real food on the next one. But with that said, el pastelito, this looks amazing. I'm a sucker for M&M's and I love peanut butter. Uh, the downside is I forgot to grab a knife and fork. My mom said don't eat with your hands, but she's not here. <laughs> Mm. Oh my god, that's oh, delicious. I need a napkin. Dude, it's salty, it's chocolatey. Mm. So much peanut butter. If you were a fan of peanut butter. Dude, look at that. It's all a doll whip of like, just pure peanut butter on top. Wait, let me see where you bit it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, I'm gonna go straight to traction mode, just running like so fast so off the street. What did you like better? The previous or this one? <gasps> the traditional like sauce feeling inside. Oh, this is delicious. This is delicious. So I'm assuming this one? It's a lot. That's that's a treat that should be shared. It's, it's a lot to chew. Is it overly peanut buttery? So I like the other one better. Because even though it was a pretty large like size for what it was and you can share it, it was like, cada rebanada, like every cut, every bite was very good. And it didn't feel heavy and dense. And this is heavy and dense. And so the downside is that if you just like, like bite into like the whipped cream, don't bite into like I did. You know, this is for entertainment purposes. But that spot, that part on top, it's salty. No, that's how Eli really eats, guys. <laughs> what do you mean entertainment purposes? I'm entertained. Nice try. <laughs> My mom's going to kill me when she watches this. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's going to be Hi, not that happy. You're so right. Oh, my gosh. Mom, Becky made me do it. Uh, <laughs> but, like, it's super salty. So, like, you really should, like, cut into it and have it all together. It, it's one of those things that you have to eat all together. But it's tasty. It's rich. Um, if you're a fan of peanut butter, and fudge, this is the way to go. This is the way to go. Okay, this uh, foodie video has been interrupted by El Mariachi. Oh my gosh, yes, live entertainment. And they've moved them from location. They're over here at Carthay Circle now. Wow. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list. And Jeffrey Weiss are gonna find out who's naughty and nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. I love that we can go ahead and get music at right as you enter Carthay, like right on Buena Vista Street. Like that's so cool. I mean, the energy was off the hook and the talent, wow. Yeah. Wait a minute, we're passing, we're passing the food carts. We gotta get to the food. I want to here for the food. Oh, al pastor in a slider form. Dude, with a little bit of pineapple. Ah, man, we just flew to Japan to have like the best al pastor tacos out there. So in, in full circle, I'm gonna, look at this, look at this bad boy. Oh, and that's good bread too. Vamos, pa arriba, pa abajo, pa el centro, pa dentro. Mm. Oh my gosh. That sauce is kicking. Mm. Now, I don't know how close that you can call this to carnitas because carnitas is usually shredded. And if you're not familiar with carnitas, is it's like cuts of pork that's like been cooked in its own like juices and like it's been rendered fat. It's so good, so unhealthy for you, but so good. But this is more like like dice cuts of like the cochinito, the the pork. The sauce is good. It's giving me you know what sloppy Joe vibes though. 
Do you know when it's not water? The pineapple comes through with that sweetness. Mm. That way it's not too salty. Mm. This would be so like almost a perfect 10, but I'm not sold on the bread. The is it roll? like a Hawaiian roll or what is it? No, no, it's not a Hawaiian roll. It's like a, it's, it's like a brioche bun. Oh, okay. Or, it's not muy seco. It's, it's a very dry bun. Like. Oh, I just saw it. I just saw the texture on it when you bit into it right now. Only few, only few people will know this, but the texture feels like gluten-friendly bread. You know, it's where it's like dry. crumbly, like and dry. Yeah. That's what it feels like. Like, luckily, like the, it, there's plenty of sauce in this, and like it's good. It's probably because of that. Yeah. So bomb. When you bite into that pineapple with it, that's good. Not a bad one to go ahead and get at Winter Sliderland, the new slider of the year. That's how Rosso. A twist on tradition. Oh. So ready. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, we just started on a really good one, but the barbecue. I'm here for the barbecue. Okay, so this croissant turkey slider coming over from Twisted Traditions or Twist on Traditions. It's very twisty, but oh my gosh. Back-to-back -back sliders. I'm in for this. I'm in for this. And I'm a sucker for croissants, but it's a croissant muffin. I don't think I've ever had that. Have you? No. It's very flaky. Oh, crispy. Look at this. Look at that amount of like cranberry sauce. A ver, vamos. Oh, that's tasty. You don't need lots of napkins. That's gonna get all over the place. It's very delicious. You get a good burst of like cranberry coming through. The turkey is wonderful. And the flakiness of like this muffin with the croissant. The texture is great. We might have to get some of those for like Thanksgiving. That is delicious. It now, is it, very Thanksgiving, right? It's super Thanksgiving, but I've never had croissants for Thanksgiving, which is like odd. The cranberry sauce though. The cranberry, you're, you're, if you're a fan of cranberry sauce, like this is what it's for. It's that's not also. Actually, if they had this type of like uh, bread with the uh, with the al pastor, it would have been so bomb, so bomb. This is yeah. much better. Mm. Okay guys, so I am on a liquid diet kind of since there's not really a lot of gluten-free options, but I did get the pomegranate paloma with the chili rim here. So we'll see, it looks pretty. Pero vamos a ver a tu salud. Mm. Yeah, I like this drink a lot better than the blue one. Not to no say the blue way. one was bad, but this one is the way to go. But you know what? I love a good tequila drink. And then with the chili rim, I feel like you can't really go wrong. So, oh my gosh, this one's number one so far. So cheers. I am so confused about this one because it's a barbecue pulled pork corn bake. So clearly this is cornbread and there's something inside, but like this is dense, like super dense. And I'm a sucker for coleslaw. So if the coleslaw like doesn't slap, this may not be like a win whatsoever. So fork must for this one. Let me flip this over so you guys can see. Pork's all at the bottom, cornbread, like cornbread baked on top. I don't know. It looks questionable to me. I don't know about y'all, but like when I get like barbecue, like pulled pork, I want it like mopped in sauce. Flavors there. Tiene buen sabor. I spoke too soon. Mm. The cornbread is delicious, not dried out. It helps with the pork in itself too. Keep it all moist and it's a delicious bite. And there's a light level of like crispiness. So there's texture to it on, on the bake. No, this is perfect. Mm. You know what's funny? It oddly reminds me to the corn tamales, uh, the appetizer plate that they sell at the Cheesecake Factory or used to sell at the Cheesecake Factory. That thing was a revelation. Very similar like in, in flavors and texture. Oh. But I still need more sauce. Wait, let me see the inside of it. 
Let's try the coleslaw. It's more like vinegar based. It's the type of coleslaw you would expect like on a sandwich. A pulled pork. And I like mine like sweeter. Or maybe with like an apple cider, like an apple vinegar cider. But a lettuce I would. It's good. So coleslaw, no. The coleslaw's a no. This is good, but you, you still need the coleslaw to go with it. But I get it. You can't have sweet with sweet, right? So you need like a sweet and like a tangy. It's almost there, almost there. Oh. Also just a heads up to, for those who are coming to go ahead and enjoy World of Color, there's gonna be a preview show to the show featuring Moana. I know it's not the holidays, but the fact that you're here already enjoying the holidays. Yes. It's a yes. It's, it's a, a yes. yes. With chicken chicharron with basamari rice, herb chutney, and masala drizzle. All right, guys, so the chicken chicharron here, this looks delicious. I'm really excited that they added at least one more item to the gluten friendly list. I hope in the future we get like five, maybe that would be great. Five to ten would be lovely. <laughs> but here we go. Okay, this is a, something new this year, so cheers. <laughs> It smells like curry spices. <laughs> it's a no. It's interesting. I, li I like it, but then I kind of miss eating chicharron with the crunch. So I kind of wish it was actual chicharron, not chicken chicharron, like dorado. You know what I mean? Well, it's oh, so it's not crispy. It's not crunchy. It's oh. a, the texture is like a almost like popcorn chicken, but a little bit denser with a whole bunch of spices, which has like, it reminds me of like Indian cuisine, like curry and uh, with a whole bunch of spices. It is good, I do like the sauces, but the texture of this threw me off a little bit and it makes me desire a crunch, more of a crunch. But other than that, it is good. Holiday Duets is up next for the mac and cheese, but Ooh. before anything, mm -hmm. as Becky's looking down at the list of what we need to go ahead and pick up, let's talk about pricing. Because we spent, like we said, about roughly $100, not including the drinky drinks, but you can get it much cheaper if you do what, Becky? Get yourself the food tabs. They come with eight tabs and you can use them around the food carts and then some of the locations as well. It is $63 and then the Magic Key discount does apply and if you do have that, it comes down to $58. And they also have a four food tab which comes out to $32. Well, we did the math and it's actually much more, it, it, it actually comes out more expensive if you do it that way to buy like food items because like on average of what they're priced out you're better off buying them individually so the eight tab one is a true true value just fyi all right with that said mas comida <laughs> we got the mac and cheese baby now shout out to the wonderful cast members there especially leo um you for picky eaters, we're, we gotta think of the little ones, we gotta think of the little B plus E, cipotitos uh, or cipotas, uh, the little kids, you know, in case they don't want the toppings, you know, they are willing to make modifications right there for you. I just know that, you know, you do have to ask them uh, at the line right there. But I thought that was super sweet. Shout out to all our wonderful cast members who do an amazing job making sure everyone has an amazing time here at the parks. With that said, mac and cheese time, because let's face it, it ain't the holidays without some mac and cheese. And I'm curious about this one now. This is con el chorizo. <laughs> this might be like, like the, the hottest, hottest thing, thing we like, like had tonight, tonight. Like, 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 like super, super piping hot. hot. It's fresh, that's why. They just made it. Bro. That's tasty. And this is plant-based chorizo. Oh, it's got a light kick to it. Very good. Not greasy or oily whatsoever, so that is nice. Mm. There's a light. I'm gonna put this in Spanish. You would say, "El chorizo está dorado." The the, the chorizo is crispy, so it's giving like a bread crumb like texture to it. It's delicious. Now, granted, it's got cilantro on it, so if you're uh, one of the few folks that like, you know, cilantro tastes like soapy to you, uh, either ask like to have, have it removed or uh, just avoid. But it is, uh, it's tasty. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh, my fork. Top five for sure. 
We gotta go get a fork and then we gotta go get another snack. Let's go, let's go. Look, it's all our favorite things. <laughs> Home so of the pork, the braised pork belly adobo, which has been a staple and a gluten-friendly item, but we're skipping on that one because we're here for the, the macaroon. Macaron? I can never remember. That's so bad because we eat so many of okay. these. But um, I'm, I'm excited. It is the cutest one we have ever seen. And I'm so sorry I'm saying that on like, you know, film to the little like green aliens because I'm pretty sure tomorrow when, we, when we're here for Disneyland, we're gonna have the reindeer one. Uh, but oh my gosh, stay tuned for the Disneyland foodie vlog, the DCA foodie vlog, uh, maybe a downtown Disney one. Also, if you haven't checked out our Japan vlogs, check that out también. But with that said, familia, let's find out. Is this a copper drop? Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that, but I'm so glad I did. That's cute. Oh, does that, that have cake in it? I have no idea. Oh, it, I no sé. I, I honestly, at this point, I'm still buzzing from all the sugar. So, provecho. Mmm. 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 Caramel. Light saltiness. It's like a brownie mix or something. What are you? I forgot the ingredients in this, but whatever it is, it's delicious. It's like a crumble in there, right? Mm. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. Crazy sugar rush immediately. Almost hurts the teeth. Almost. Worth it. It's too cute. It's Instagram worthy, that's for sure. This is definitely fighting with the Yuga Log for number one spot for dessert. The Yuga Log looks way better though, are you sure? I did it Friday. I was able to finish a Yule Log. No complaints, no issues. This one might have to be shared though. Oh my gosh. It's like, it's a lot though. Poor Mickey. Mm. You're destroying poor Mickey. <laughs> In the bow tie. <laughs> it's cute, Instagram worthy, tasty. Definitely share it with a friend. So good. Sugar Rush. Mm. <laughs> I think it can go faster than the cars and uh, Radiator Springs. The mall. Mm. It has enough sugar for the rest of the season. I'm, all, <laughs> I'm alive. I'm dead. I'm alive again. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Wow, we closed out DCA. We just had enough time to get those treats. It was record worth time it. eating. Oh we, my god. We the best. <laughs> <laughs> We foodies! <laughs> it was delicious. It was good. Hopefully this video helps you guys out in picking your choices. Now we picked with all the new items here for you. So, you know, go ahead and watch previous videos of all the other foods that's been here before. I really like the Paloma drink the best. So definitely check that out if you're into like a tequila chili rim based drink. And what did you like the best? Ooh, the Yule Log. No, the, the Cafecito de Olla is my go-to now. That, that that cold brew is epic, delicious, mm -hmm. a must-must-get. And best foodie item I had... Mm -hmm. Goes to... Drum roll. It, it, dude, it's, it's that turkey croissant muffin thing. Like, okay. honestly, it tasted like Thanksgiving in a single bite. Um, but again, bias opinion, because I love croissants. So like, oh, so good. Guys, with that said... <laughs> and I like Thanksgiving, so there we go. Okay, guys, with that said, if you made it to the very end, go ahead and drop a little. Is there a turkey emote? We should have a turkey emote. If there's no turkey emote, go ahead and drop in. Oh. Uh, Santa. For Santa. the Santa hats. All right, guys, love you to pieces. We'll catch you in the next one right, right there. there.